11 minutes to 12 here on BBC Radio Northampton. Welcome to the show. We're with you till two. Now, on Thursday of this week, the world paused briefly to look at life through the prism of World Poetry Day. Here on BBC Radio Northampton, we delivered poetry throughout our programmes. And you can go back and you can hear that fantastic Northamptonshire poet, uh, poetry uh, 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 poem uh, by going to the BBC Sounds app. Well, here on Sunday Brunch, I've got a local poet right now whose work is being consumed, and I mean around the world, in perhaps the most unlikely of places. James McInerney is that poet. He joins me uh, on the phone this morning. Morning, James. Are you well? Morning, yes. I'm very good. It's lovely and sunny. Well, it's, it's, it's been quite a week, and I suppose good sunshine and perhaps getting out and about is, is inspirational stuff for poets. How did you find poetry? Where, how old were you when you first started writing it? I was in my early 20s, and I just poetry found me, really. Um, I was interested in music and film soundtracks and scores, and I just started listening to them and my thoughts and um, started writing poetry from there. That's a fantastic way to begin, and a lifetime of, of, of writing has gone with it. Putting your work in front of an audience is a fairly major step, but you found a, a novel way to do it beyond books and public pr- performance. Yeah, um, the Poetry Project, which started in 2018, um, London Underground, getting kind of s- small pieces of my poetry out, in the public space as a social experiment in 2018. Um, Three years later, it's been around the world. How did you get people to take it? Because I've seen some of the pictures. I mean, literally, globally, you've been in Australia, you've been in America, you've been in Europe. How do you get people to take your work and put it up in such prominent places and in such prominent ways? I think it talks to, because it's a mental health awareness kind of project, I think it talks to what the current climate we live in um, when I started it in 2018, mental health was on the rise then, and I didn't realise how bad it was until I started this project. Now going through a pandemic, um, and everyone have kind of been through all those things like social anxiety, being told to stay indoors, mental health is real hot topic yeah. now. You, you've been seen and, and commented on by, by all kinds of people, in pe- including people who, well, have seen your work on the daily commute to work. And, and, and for those that stayed working uh, through the pandemic, you've been quite visible, or at least your work has, on London Underground through TFL. Yeah, um, doing that. Yeah, started there anyway. And now collaboration with Network Rail, National Rail and the Other Hope and um, we've just launched this um, campaign called Brighter Journeys, which is about making the experience of travelling on the train and going through the stations a positive and happier one. Why do you think poetry cuts through in perhaps the way the written word in prose doesn't? Because most of your poems are actually, they're very short. They, they, they get straight through to the brain. But why, mm. do you think that's poss- that, why do you think that's the case? I think because a, with a poem... Every different person that reads it sees something different and that relates to what they're going through in their life. Um, So whereas with text, it's different, but a poem is open to being subjective um, and every kind of person sees something different or sees what they want to see. How important to you has your poetry been during the pandemic? Obviously, there's, there's a degree of the businessman about you when it comes to poetry, but for the inner James McInerney, how important has, has been the process of consuming and, and producing new poetry? I think for me, it's been an outlet. Like everyone else, um, you're going through things and your mind is constantly worrying and, and you worry about things um, regardless of what age you are. Um, sometimes the best way to do it is to write it down. And if you share it and then you get support online, that's an added extra kind of bonus that helps as well. What sort of reaction do you get from the, po- from the poetry that you put out there when rank and file people, when the public actually read and consume your work? Um, it's just every day is it, could we get diff- I kind of get messages from around the world, you know, I needed to see this today, this really helped me, um, this was written about me. Um, and I just kind of, it's, it's for me, it helps me to carry on writing. Um, and it's a real kind of, that's what I kind of need to push me on sometimes. And when that pushing on takes place that me too button that you've just talked about mm. ha- have you found the the pandemic have you found the nature of uh, confronting your own mental well-being and, and everybody's mental well-being goes up and down so all of us are on that 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 sliding scale i suppose how, how have you found the pandemic when it comes to writing new poetry 
I think, uh, like everyone, have had more time. Um, everyone's kind of been indoors. But it's, I think with the pandemic, it gave the whole world that moment to pause and reflect. Um, and I definitely have been doing that and thinking about my life before the pandemic and, and how I can make my life easier and what that means to me as a person. We just had Poetry Day. Today is World Mental Health Awareness Day. How do you feel when you've finished a poem? Does it take you a long time to write them? Because, as I said, they are quite short. Do you, do you always know the start, the middle and the end, or do you have to labour intensively and then get it down to a fewer, a shorter number of words? Yeah, I tend to edit like crazy. So I would normally start in the middle, strangely, um, and then kind of work outwards. Um, and then I will have a final piece and then what will happen is I'll edit it to the point of it's non-existent and probably start again. It is quite hard. I mean, when I've written 700 plus poems, six books later, it does get hard um, to come up with some new creative, you know, get those juices flowing again. Yeah, where does the inspiration come from? Do you, you know, stand in line at the supermarket or you're queuing to, to get petrol? We've all been doing that recently. Do, do, do you find inspiration suddenly comes unannounced? I love going for walks, so I'll have my music on, I'm going for a walk, and I just think about things. The music makes me think about things, um, and as I'm walking, I find that whenever I'm, I'm, I'm moving, that's when my creativity kind of comes, and, and I love walking, and it's good for you. It's very good for you, particularly with uh, engaging with it, with the uh, um, exercise during the pandemic. I think a lot of people have perhaps looked out over the Northamptonshire skyline, and perhaps the words come to them, not in the same way as they do for you. What's what's next for the Poetry Project? Where where next are you going to be cropping up, James? Well, we've got campaigns going till summer 2022, um, but the next kind of locations uh, with the kind of Writer Journeys campaign, Monday the 11th and 12th is at Glasgow Station and Leicester, and Wednesday it's at Liverpool Lime Street in Liverpool. You can see the whole thing. It's, there's flowers, there's seeded paper which they're giving out, there's service board announcements is it's a big thing i think it's a fantastic thing that you're doing and it, it it does have an effect in in more than one way because well poetry day is one thing and so many people have thought in the past that poetry is difficult end of story poetry has to be difficult it doesn't every song lyric that people have been listening to uh, today uh, is a poem in its own right and a poem doesn't have to go on forever and a day have you got, have you got a short one you could give us which which would I perhaps can give you fit? one from the, i can give you probably one from the actual project which is currently running um and it is something as simple as recognize your inner strength flowers are often pulled from the earth but they still have the roots and the ability within them, within them to regrow. You do too. And that's as simple as it gets. That is a poem. It doesn't have to be long. Just That only took about six seconds. Read it again for us, James. Yeah, so it's recognise your inner strength. Flowers are often pulled from the earth, but they still have the roots and the ability within them to regrow. You do too. Think about those words, and particularly on World Mental Health Awareness Day, poetry unlocking people as perhaps nothing else can. James, always a pleasure. Looking forward to getting you back in the studio before very much longer. Thanks for talking to me. Thank you. Take care. James McInerney from The Poetry Project.